Welcome to Future Ready Live, where we talk about topics that will help CPAs, CGMAs, and their organizations adapt and thrive in an accelerating, exponentially changing world. I'm your host, Tom Hood, the EVP of Business Engagement and Growth at AICPA SEMA, the largest body of certified professional accountants in the world. Today, we're going to be talking about Maryland's Youth Apprenticeship Program, which, by the way, we are the very first apprenticeship program for finance and accounting in the United States. We have a, a, our sister company at SEMA in the UK has a program as well. And this is a, our first youth apprenticeship program. So joining me today is AIC Bay's first approved youth employer, Merico Consulting LLC, and our first youth apprentice, Ashley Greer, and one of our own, Faith Balsham, our senior specialist for the apprenticeship program. Let's welcome Maria Anderson. She's the CEO of Merico Consulting LLC. She specializes in providing comprehensive services to nonprofits, small businesses, and startups. She successfully managed dynamic teams, implemented cloud-based ERP systems, and conducted in-depth financial analysis for numerous organizations. Her strategic planning and risk management expertise have been pivotal in driving sustainable growth and compliance for her clients. Maria's career includes significant roles, such as operations director, community outreach group, chief administrative officer at the group in Washington, DC, and operations assistant at the White House, where she managed logistics for high profile events and contributed to the efficiency of internal processes. Maria holds a bachelor of science in accounting from Florida A&M University and a Master of Business Administration in Finance from Ashford University. Maria, say hello to our audience. Hello, everyone. And it's great to have you here. Now let's go on to Ashley. Ashley Greer is a 2024 graduate of Bel Air High School, completing the Accounting and Business Pathway while dual enrolled at Hartford Community College obtaining outstanding grades in his college accounting class. Ashley recently earned, recently earned high academic honors at Bel Air High Senior Awards Ceremony, as well as being honored at the business department's recipient of their overall department award. Ashley plans to attend the University of Maryland in the fall and will continue to study accounting and business. Ashley, welcome to the program and say hello to our audience. Hello, everyone. Great to have you here. All right, so first, let's talk about this youth apprenticeship in Maryland and what it looks like and what it means. So Faith, come on here and tell us a little bit about this. Thanks so much, Tom. Can you guys hear me okay? You're perfect. Okay, I appear to be frozen on the screen and I'm not sure how to fix that right now, so I do apologize. Um, but basically, Youth Apprenticeship, known as the Apprenticeship Maryland Program or AMP, has taken the time-tested earn while you learn strategy to high school students in an attempt to jumpstart their careers. This program has experienced rapid growth over the past couple of years. For comparison purposes, Maryland ended the 2023 school year with just over 500 students registered in the program. And this year, as of March, they had well over a thousand students registered. In this program, uh, students work a minimum of 450 hours during their junior and senior year of high school. They receive related instruction to support the occupation they're working in, and they're paid at least minimum wage. Youth Apprenticeship was designed to set students up for success upon graduation by providing an opportunity to start a career. With the shortage of candidates in the accounting and finance, AICPA saw this program as an ideal way to grow and develop local talent while exposing them to the endless opportunities available in accounting and finance. AICPA created a related instruction curriculum that has already been um, approved by the Maryland Department of Education, also known as MSDE, which I would also like to add provides an entry point to our finance leadership program, our registered apprenticeship program, and the Charter Global Management Accountant designation. It's important to note as well that this program aligns with Blueprint for Maryland which is, sets the goal at 45% of students to complete an apprenticeship and or receive an industry recognized credential by uh, the graduation year of 2030. Tom? 
All right. So I want to go flip over here to Maria, our first employer. So tell us how you learned about this youth apprentice program and what's your experience been so far? Sure. So I learned about the program um, because I am a member of the Baltimore uh, County Chamber of Commerce. Um, like I'm a business owner looking to expand, however, um, didn't really have this, the funds to bring on a full on bookkeeper. Um, so I talked to my president and CEO, Brent Howard, and he told me about the program. Uh, I guess Faith and uh, was um, letting everyone know about the program and um, he told me about it. And so I decided to start all the paperwork. Um, and once I got all that done um, and got approved, then we went through the interview process and we treated it like we were hiring an employee, um, even though we were hiring a high school student. Um, and I have to say that Ashley has superseded every expectation we had. Um, we really thought we were getting uh, a, a high school student and it feels like we have more of a, a high school, I mean, a college grad than a high school student. So it's been going really great. And tell us just a quick bit about your business, right? So you're doing... Uh fractional CFO, bookkeeping, strategy, like all kinds of things that help small businesses, right? Yes. So I I look at things very holistically. Um, so fractional CFO services, as well as um, outsource HR um, services. So we run payroll, uh, we do staff meetings, staff engagement. And then we also do compliance. As you know, uh, the Department of um, Treasury has the new BOI um, regulation out. So we're making sure that all of our clients are up to date and compliant, as well as making sure they have all their insurance. So we're kind of like the back end office um, to nonprofit small businesses. And what kind so what what kind of functions do you have Ashley doing? And then we're going to let him tell us his story. Yeah. So originally, I thought I would only use Ashley for data entry because it, it's a high school student, right? When I had a high school um, accounting uh, internship, I was shredding papers and in, in the filing in the filing cabinets. Um, so I wanted to give Ashley a little bit more than what I had when I was in high school as an intern, and he has just superseded all my expectations because he does the module with the AICPA. He's actually getting a lot of um, the um, basic accounting terms and, and knowledge. Um, and I believe he's also done the accounting courses in um, his high school. I'll let him talk more about that. Um, so it's, it's been rewarding to learn the modules that he's doing, like, for instance, cost accounting. And then I'll have him. I have an HVAC uh, company and we uh, do their job labor um, cost and Ashley actually does the pivot charts and manipulates the payroll and puts it all into the job codes. And probably like a, a month or two ago, it connected for him that job, uh, that cost accounting and what he was doing for the HVAC company. Um, we actually connected the two, and it was it was so rewarding to see that aha light go off where he does know cost accounting and he's actually doing the real time work now as he's learning it. Um, but yeah, he's, he's just been awesome. Like we give him more projects and he um, does way more than we thought he was going to do. Um, yeah. That's, that's, that's exactly what we hope. And that's what these programs are for. So Ashley, let tell us what your experience has been like. So first, Congratulations on your recent graduation. It sounds like you've had an exciting past three months and made quite an impression on Maria and Mariko. So how did you learn about this opportunity and what has your experience been like? Tell us about what you're doing. Well, I mean, my experience has been nothing but wonderful. Uh, Mariko is such a wonderful company and we have a great small team that we communicate with each other every single day. And I honestly love working for them. Um, I learned about this opportunity through my apprenticeship specialist, uh, Ms. Joni Paust. She is so wonderful and has helped me through going through the paperwork and all the 
documents and helped me successfully onboard to the company, as well as, of course, Maria. Um, I have nothing but wonderful things to say about all uh, that Puerto Rico has done and my faculty at my high school. And they really just pushed me to be the best that I can and learn about the things in my field that I will be studying in college. So tell us a little bit about the learning program itself that you're going through while you're on the job. So I know Maria told a little bit about her perspective, but what do you feel about that? Are you, are you feel like you're getting really good learning that you're applying and able to do this kind of work? Absolutely. Uh, AICPA has uh, provided me with modules, like Maria said, cost accounting things and digital marketing and uh, digital finance that have all really uh, applied very well to the job. So uh, whether I may be doing data entry or um, looking for other interns to help me out, um, everything is really connected well. And I'm looking forward to continuing on their program with their modules, uh, as well as maybe taking tests that they um, apply for students. And so I uh, doing this at such a young age is, is so valuable to me so that I can really understand uh, what it means to be in the field and position I am in. Yeah, and hopefully we'll see you as a chartered global management accountant as you move up through, uh, through both your college and through this learning while you're on the job. So we hope to continue that thing. Uh, any other thoughts, anything you would tell to other potential high school uh, apprentices out there? What would you, what advice would you give them? One piece of advice that I would give um, that's very valuable is patience. I know that doing this at a young age is kind of overwhelming and you just need to really trust your employers and your faculty members because they do want to help you. And if you engage with them and ask questions, they will um, help you out and just please, be patient because some of this stuff is very confusing and it will all work out in the back end that you will have a wonderful experience, uh, especially at this young age. Awesome. Well, this has been, it's, it's certainly a pleasure having you on the show with us. And uh, so Maria, let's talk, come back to you again. What advice would you have for other employers who are thinking about working with high school students through this youth apprenticeship program? I would tell them, I would piggyback off of what uh, Ashley said as well for the employer to be patient um, with the paperwork. Um, once you get everything in, um, it goes pretty fast. Um, I'm trying to think what I would say to team up the apprenticeship with a junior staffer. It's one of the things that we did with Ashley and it really worked. So not only did Ashley meet with myself once a, um, once a week, he also worked side by side with one of our junior um, um, accountants. And it just, it really became a team. So I would say not only do the one-on-one -on -one check ins, but also really include them um, into the staff meetings. Like we, we're a small team of, of four employees. So um, we really kind of all, put our hands around Ashley and um, had him help us out. Um, I, I wanna say it's also fun. Uh, Ashley was with us when he went through prom and graduation. And so the team, we really rallied around him and it was nice to kind of experience that again um, through Ashley and, and uh, his high school um, activities. Um, so just to recap, I would say yes, you know, do the one-on-ones, include, include the apprentice in the day-to-day -day operations, the staff meetings, and also give them another mentor um, in your organization. Yeah, which is, I mean, which is the whole theory behind the apprenticeship, this whole idea of, you know, earning, being on a job while you're learning and being mentored by the employer that's the magic here. And it looks like actually you're doing a, a fantastic job and, uh, and you're, you're the first in Maryland for this finance and accounting thing. And actually you're the first in the United States for this program because we're the only one that's registered right now with the U S department of labor and the Maryland department of labor. Faith kind of final thoughts from you as we wrap up today. 
Sure. It, and again, I apologize. I'm frozen. It's a little strange to look at on the screen here. Um, I would just say that, you know, I appreciate Maria taking the chance on us with this program and Ashley, of course, you know, jumping in uh, full speed ahead. I think it's been a great experience for both of them. And we have a pipeline now of additional employers that are coming on board. So I think there's going to be a lot of success um, with what's to come with youth apprenticeship in the accounting and finance industry. And pretty much Maria and Ashley have led the way for us. And thank awesome. you. For that. <laughs> yep, they're pathfinders. And so, yeah, so Maria, Ashley, uh, and Faith, thank you all for being on the show today. We will put more um, links in the show notes. And I want to say thank you for joining me. And don't miss other Future Ready Live sessions back here on LinkedIn, first and third Tuesday of each month at noon Eastern. We'll see you then. Thank you. <laughs>